team last couple coming forward for the 244th St Ledger. And they are set now and they're racing. This historic classic underway then for 2020 in front of deserted grandstands here at Townmore as they race away from the start. Subjectivist got away to a good start, so too Sunchart and Mythical on the outside, the dark blue jacket making the pace on his two as Berkshire Rocco settles in fourth place. Hookham racing in fifth there in the shake hand down jacket. Just behind him is Galileo Chrome on the outside there of Pile Driver, who settled pretty well. Santiago is tracking him on the outside then of the yellow jacket of Mohican Heights as the runners uh, race on towards the far side of the course and the gap between first and last. Tyson Fury at the back of the field probably around about to 10 lengths. The horse just in front of him in the blue cap there is Dawn Patrol. So crossing Rose Hill over on the far side, having gone through the first half mile or so, and a good battle up front here between the two front runners, Mythical and Subjectivist. They're ahead then by about a length and a half to Sunchart in third. Berkshire Rocco and Hukum come next, followed then by Galileo Chrome in the hands of Tom Marcon. Pile driver still taking a little bit of a hole for Martin Dwyer at the back there with Santiago alongside him for Frankie. Then the yellow colors of Mohican Heights, Dawn Patrol and two lengths back to Tyson Fury in the hands of Kieran Schumark as they race across the far side of Town Moor. These two leaders have opened up a bit of a gap now to the rest of the field. Subjectivist on the inside just ahead for Joe Fanning in second Mythical and Emmett McNamara. Two lengths away back in third then still is Sunchart, Berkshire Rocco, Hukum, Galileo Chrome. Then a length and a half away then to Pile Driver. Further back to Santiago, poised on the outside, who's just trapped there by Dawn Patrol. Then next on the inside, see, till comes Mohican Heights. And although Tyson Fury is last, as they come into view from the grandstand, he still travels well. They've got just under five furlongs left here in the 2020 per temp St. Ledger. And the runners tend to come down the center of the race course. And it's still subjectivist, the leader from Mythical in second. Sunchart poised to challenge is in third. Berkshire Rocco is next. Then on the inside, Hukum is improving together with Pile Driver. Galileo Chrome's been ridden along, but he's picking up too. Berkshire Rocco really getting into it. Santiago's on the move for Frankie on the near side as well. And also Tyson Fury trying to chase down these leaders. Just two furlongs to go, and they're really sprinting now. Pile Driver on the far side with Hukum down the center. Galileo Chrome, Berkshire Rocco, and Santiago almost four in a line. Pile Driver just drifting across towards the far side. On the near side, Berkshire Rocco, Galileo Chrome, and Santiago. They've got half a furlong left to go in the ledger. Berkshire Rocco, Galileo Chrome are going to battle it out. Galileo Chrome just wins us at ledger. And history for Joseph O'Brien. Tom Marcon in second place then. Berkshire Rocco, Pile Driver was third and Santiago took fourth. What an incredible race and what a day for Tom Marquand who initially had been booked for English King but he was obviously unable to ride him when he went over to France. He's going to run tomorrow. He picks up the ride on Galileo Chrome in really unusual circumstances.